In this video, I'll be showing you how to get Adblock for your Android device. This does not work for the YouTube app, but it does work surprisingly well for pop-up ads in almost any browser. I'm in Dolphin browser right now, it also works in Chrome. Say you're on a web page and you see this little ad here, and you want to block that. So you go to the adblockplus.org site, and you want to download the Android app. And you click download. Now. This is a third-party app which is not in the App Store, so you're going to need to go to Allow Third-Party Apps. Go into Settings, and on my Galaxy S4, this is in More, Security, and you want to check this little box that says Allow Unknown Sources. Click OK. On some other devices, it might be under Applications or Application Manager, but the important thing is you want to check the box that allows unknown sources. Now that it's completed, click to Install Adblock Plus and open the application. Now filtering, you want to make sure this is on, because if it isn't, it won't actually be blocking any ads. You might think this is all set, but you actually need to go configure a proxy network. So click configure, and the important thing you're looking for is localhost and the port number. On my device it's 220. You need to go to open the wireless settings, or you can simply tap and hold the Wi-Fi icon. Tap and hold on the network you're connected to and modify network configuration. Show advanced options. Change the proxy setting to manual. Now we need to change this to localhost. And the port number to 220. Now the port number might change depending on your device, but you just need to make sure that you type in exactly what Adblock tells you. Now click save. And you should see in a little bit this ad block icon waiting for port traffic. It should change in a few seconds. Now going back to the browser, if I refresh this CNET page, notice there's a little blank space and the ad has disappeared. And also this blank space here, this would have also been an ad. And that's the basic setup. It doesn't work for the YouTube app, so you will have to sit through pre-roll ads, but it works very well for the pop-ups in your browser. Adblock only works over Wi-Fi because in order to create a proxy network you have to be connected to one single network. When you use 3G or data you're connecting to wireless data through your cell phone plan in general. You're not connecting to a single network so it's impossible to create a reliable proxy. Another thing is you're going to have to change the host name and port number for every single Wi-Fi network you connect to. And that seems like a bit of a pain but I think the benefits vastly outnumbers the time to set that up. And it also remembers the network settings. So unless you click forget the network by accident, every time you log on to that same Wi-Fi network, Adblock will be enabled. Going back into the Adblock app, you see the ads are now blocked over the Wi-Fi connection. Just a few notes on the settings here. If you temporarily want to turn off the filtering and not block ads, you can change this to off. Or you can refresh your subscription. This is the list of ads that will be blocked. And you could uncheck this box if you want all ads to be blocked. Also, you cannot completely hide the icon. If you click this, it will just make it invisible. If Adblock removes this notification, the Android operating system might kill the Adblock background process. It's your choice. If you mind this, you can make it invisible. And that's how to get Adblock on your Android device.